In this video, we're going to determine a delta for a given or arbitrary epsilon given a function. It says, what values of delta are an appropriate choice when proving the following limit? So they give us the limit as x approaches negative 2 of 3x minus 4 is equal to negative 10. I'm going to say that a is negative 2, the function is 3x minus 4, and that the limiting value is negative 10. Let's write down the definition for... We want the uh, epsilon delta definition here. And we can say that that is the limit as x approaches a of f of x equal l if for any epsilon greater than 0, there exists a delta greater than 0 such that zero less than absolute value of x minus a is less than delta, then, or implies, absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. So this is the part, this is the, basically this is the closeness to the y values or the closeness to the limit. Um, on the y-axis, and we want that to be less than this tolerance epsilon. But to do that, we're going to pick a delta, a tolerance for delta, that restricts our x values to a certain closeness to uh, our limiting value that we're trying to get close to. And our limiting value that we're trying to get close to is this negative 2. So I'm going to write that as 0 less than absolute value of x. If I plug a negative in there, that would be plus 2 less than delta. And then we can start to fill in this side. We're going to work with this right side to figure out what our epsilon needs to be. And then that would be what our appropriate choice for delta would be uh, to prove this limit. So we're going to go ahead and plug in uh, 3x minus 4. So we have absolute value of 3x minus 4 minus the limit, which is negative 10, is less than epsilon. So we get the absolute value of 3x, that'll be plus 6, less than epsilon. I'm going to factor a 3 out here, and that'd be absolute value of 3x plus 2, less than epsilon. When I bring a 3 outside of here, the absolute value of 3 is 3, so I can just write that outside, so that's absolute value x plus 2, less than epsilon. And then I can divide by 3 on each side, and that tells me that the absolute value of x plus 2 is less than epsilon over 2. So when we go to prove this, what we would do is, because we have absolute value of x plus 2 in each piece here, and the absolute value of x plus 2 is supposed to be less than delta, what we would do is we would choose our delta to be equal to epsilon divided by, uh, sorry, I said 2 there, I meant 3 divided by 3, so epsilon divided by 3. Now, we would do that, choose epsilon divided by 3, and then we would start with this piece and work our way backwards to see if we would end up with our f of x minus l being less than epsilon. And in this case, and in every case, it works out that way. So this is the value for delta that we would choose.